What's up everyone? Today we're going to be uh, showing you how to replace the valve cover gasket, the front one, on a 2005 Saturn L300. Um, in our previous video we showed you how to replace the uh, coil pack and to get to it and everything. So um, to get to this stage where you have the front intake tube off, go to our previous video. We show you how to get the clips off and to get to the spot. So um, go to that. Let's go ahead and get started to get this uh, part of the intake off and then we'll have full access to the valve cover. Get that off and uh, place the gaskets. So let's get started. Okay, to remove this part of the intake, uh, I went ahead and got ahead of myself. But uh, there is inverted torps, uh, they're E10s, and then there are some back here. Uh, we'll take those four off. Uh, Adam, did you already get these clips on there? I already, yeah, I did those clips already. All right, so once we get those two bolts off here, then we'll be able to pick up on this and just kind of move it back out of our way. We don't need to take it completely off, just get it out of our way. All right, you get your bolts off. Over here on this side, there is this plug and it's plugged in right here. You take a long flathead screwdriver and you get it in there like this and you just give it a little clockwise or counterclockwise turn and pull this latch out a little bit. And then you take your hand and you, you pinch it and you pull it out the rest of the way like this. And then you're able to just Push this plug backwards. You might have to pick up from on here. <clears throat> you might have to pick up on the intake and pull it back a little bit. To... Yeah, as you can see, it's 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 dirty. It was a little stuck. Blake picked up on that a little bit, and I pushed, and boom, came right out. On this side, I went ahead and undid this clamp here. Um, pull this hose off here. There's another one right here. Like I said, you just take a screwdriver and it pops, well, okay, it'll pop that way. Uh, nope, I was right before. It pops off this way and unhook this and pull this off. I ended this, get the uh, that out of the way. I'll probably go ahead and just take this box off, the lid off, uh, and plug the uh, sensor that, that, and it's off. that piece off okay so Adam went ahead and removed that bolt there that holds that plug that we had been plugged a minute ago and that relieved the intake a lot so now it can be picked up and it needs to go back towards So we need to get this intake the rest of the way off because we have to remove this lower manifold, intake manifold piece. So to get this out of our way, all we have left is to remove these two hoses here which connect 
underneath there they're just the standard take pair pliers unhook them then we've got this hose right there and then we've got to unhook some electrical connections over there yep and we'll pull this off to remove those two lines instead of unhooking them from here we're just gonna unhook them from here So it looks like there's plenty of flexibility because we've got these flex lines back here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these torques out. Uh, I, they look like a T30, uh, probably wrong. Um, we'll verify that here in a second. But you've got this one. I don't know if you can see down in there. Uh, it's kind of got some crud in it, but there's one there, there's one back there, one back there, another one there, and here. So we'll get those removed, and then we'll be able to remove the intake and get it back so that we can get these to uh, inverted Torx bolts off. And uh, we'll see what we got to do with these brackets to get these off. So, correction on the size. The size is a T40 Torx for all the intake uh, bolts. And then that'll remove this. And then we'll get it out of our way so we get this valve cover off. We're not doing that valve cover back there right now. Um... We're just doing the front one, so. We'll go ahead and figure out how to get these brackets off and get back to you. Filming. Just gonna set that up there out of the way. We'll get all this crud out of here. bracket here. It's going to be an uh, inverted torch down here uh, and an inverted torch down there. They look like E10s. Yeah. And, uh, and there's another one. To get this pipe out of the way, there's a, feels like a 10 millimeter uh, nut down here, just a regular 10 millimeter nut. So we'll remove that and it'll get this pipe out of the way. That'll reveal the E10 torques. And then that'll remove this bracket so we get the valve cover off. So there's a whole bunch of crud down here. And I want to get that gone, but you don't want any of that to get into the intake. Uh, so you want to be very careful with it. What I'm going to do is just put the hose here, turn the vacuum on once it's all gone. I'll just keep working my way around. this this way and then you can pull it out it'll be kind of a pain but it comes right out this spot right here okay is the final bolt and it is a inverted Torx and it is an E12 it's the biggest size the one that's on this side that goes right here yeah 
so it, you'll be sliding out of it because it has a it's what they use to pull the motor so you'll, you'll be it kind of grips around under the head so you'll have to slide it out to get it out but now that we've got that done now it's in uh, removing the valve cover which you've got these eight uh, they look like E10s which is back in there so we'll go ahead and remove these and pull this valve cover off all right Blake is picking at some paper it's like a whole piece of aluminum foil he's going to take these off uh, it is okay to use a power tool to take them off but when putting them in tighten them down as far as you can by hand and then we will have to get an inch pound uh, torque wrench or we'll have to find something to torque torque these down they have to all be torqued down to the same spec and from what I've been able to find is right around uh, eight pounds I think it's seven, seven. It's, seven it's 71 inch pounds or seven which, which I think which I think is seven almost eight pounds like 7.5 foot pounds uh, I might have to do a little math here in a minute but currently oh Blake actually is this ready to come off it's ready to come off pull it off pull it off we're excited we're the people of the world are excited I'm trying to keep all this crud from going in there yes be very gender generally about it I'm probably saying that word completely wrong yeah we got to clean this up because we don't want that crud getting in there yeah we'll put some some towels over this and then we'll wipe all that extra good cleaning you want to flip this over right. valve covers out and we'll replace this gasket all right when you remove your valve cover you need to make sure you get everything clean. Nice clean surface so that whenever you put your, I mean, we've still got a little bit of cleaning to do, but uh, get everything clean. And then also there's these little rings that come in your uh, gasket set for your uh, valve covers. Uh, when we pulled it off, there were still a couple on there. You need to make sure those surfaces are clean and if you can't find all of these, make sure you look down in here to see if they had fallen. Because we did find one that was just sitting right there on that number one right there. So, uh, just make sure you find them all. They're going to be probably on the valve cover itself. And some of them will still be stuck there so you just need to make sure that you locate them all the place on the valve cover where they'd be is right here see how there's one still in there there's another one another one but that's where they sit you need to make sure that you have those surfaces clean because that's going to create a seal whenever we go to put it back together so uh we're working on degreasing flip it over getting this degrease so that we can clean that off and put it back on might as well get it completely clean so that when you go back together there's no chance of this like this falling, falling into yeah. the motor because we you definitely don't want to get it in your intake where your valves are if you can see them down in there and then you don't want to get them in here where your cams are and everything so make sure it's clean all right everyone before you go to put your valve cover back on and put your new uh, seals in here this is a good time for cleaning take take it to the car wash degrease it get it all nice and clean uh, great time for cleaning um, after you get it all clean you're gonna basically you're gonna put some RTV gasket sealer 
and in all the points. So in this crevice here, in this crevice here, 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 on the corners here, that's probably a good spot. Anywhere there's a point, you want to get some RTV in there. So we're going to do that. And then we've also got to put these little rings in. Probably wouldn't be a bad idea to put a little RTV on the back side so it holds them there so when you go to put it back on you don't lose the rings okay so we got the uh, rtv on there and all the points and stuff and seated down on there it pops up a little bit but it's in the channel so once we get it on there it'll it'll push back down in there and stay but for the most part it's it's pretty good so now we need to do the same thing here so we need to put a dab down the corners, there, a little bit on the corner here, and I'm going to probably do a little dab around the bolt hole there, because it wouldn't hurt to have a, well not there, but uh, wouldn't hurt to have a little of that RTV on the bolts it will act as a thread sealer and help keep it in there but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick all right so I got some RTV in there and those little valleys in both sides of the points there I'll probably smooth those out a little bit more it's hard to tell without the light um, now we're ready for the uh, valve cover okay it might not be the exact one, but pretty much every car is the same. Uh, you're going to start by doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight keep working them down like that until you can't do it by hand and then you want to make sure that when you do this they're calling for like seven seven foot pounds seven, you don't have yeah. a torque wrench that goes that small so uh, basically what we're doing is pause if you put your hand over the head, head of the ratchet you're not going to get much torque out of it so one and we're going to keep working it down just like that and just try to work it down even i'm not really tightening it much yep. Oh, yep. wrong side i got ahead of myself every single time you go over the order continuously same order one two three four five six seven eight don't don't switch it up on yourself okay back to one go over it just a little bit more but anyways you get the picture you just keep running it down until it won't go no more and the, uh until it's like you know snug and then you just want to make sure you kind of just give it a little you know a little quarter turn like <laughs> yeah like a little ha huh! make a little noise at a quarter turn and you know it's Right around at seven to ten foot pounds per bolt. Make sure you make the funny noise too. Yes. But anyways, if you have a torque wrench, that's highly advised. It'll be fine with what we're doing. I've been doing this a while, so I know about what it feels like. So I advise you to get a torque wrench that does seven foot pounds. Okay. All right. After you've got your valve cover back on, torque down. You want to make sure you take this bracket and you start over here like when you pulled it out you had to kind of wiggle it this way to get it out uh to put it back in you want to start over here and wiggle it back and remember you probably tweaked this over to be able to get your uh if you replaced your thermostat probably tweak that over so you have to tweak it back to uh, get this bracket in line with its spot so we got that in there little short bolt like that goes in under here and, and one goes there one goes over here and one goes there and then there's this 
this little nut goes on this. And it holds this tube into place. So we'll go ahead and get those on. Okay, now that we've got the uh, bracket mounted, now it's time to mount the <clears throat> upper portion of the intake. I just set it down in there is all I did. So you'll just set it in there and make sure that nothing's kind of crushed anywhere and you got to hook it into those tubes over there. Once you get it in there, it'll set down the rest, the rest of the way, and then we can work on putting our bolts back into the intake. Ready? Cool little trick for you. Uh, the bolt hole down there, if you went to try to put your bolt in there, it'd be a little challenging getting your fingers all the way down in there, and you probably can. Take a magnet, put your bolt on the end of it, take it down here, stick it in the hole, Work your magnet off. There you go. It's in the hole. Ta da! All right, we went ahead and got the uh, upper intake all squared away, made of all, all of our connections. Um, well, I still gotta put those uh, on back on. Uh, but all of our vacuum lines are connected again. Our hoses, got this top piece on, the four bolts that hold the top piece down. Um, all that's left now is to put this side of the intake back on. Um, first, I actually got to put the, uh, the brand new coil pack on, and then we can put that on. So, we'll go ahead and get the new coil pack on there and put the intake tube and be right back. All right, this is how to replace your valve cover gasket. Hopefully the video helped you out. Um, Tools any, will be in the description below. Any questions, comment below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the videos to the channel, right? I said it right? I probably messed it up. Yeah, it's, it's okay. I don't talk very often. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button, and... Oh, hit the little bell in the corner. Yeah. Yeah, hit the bell. Yeah, it'll notify you whenever it's... we do another video. You gotta see more of our lovely faces. I'm gonna be out for a while. I'm having surgery tomorrow on my knee, so uh, I've got a lot of editing to do, and I've got a backlog of videos I gotta do, so um, we'll get some more videos out there as I can. Yeah. Hopefully, uh... There, hopefully there shouldn't be any kind of gap for Blake's downtime. Okay. See you guys next time.